years ago. And now I'm revving up for the never rest with up. Here's gonna put the years to go. Here we go. Soon as you hear that go, live for port to port, but hear that chorus. What's up guys, I'm Scoping Gaming here, back at it again with another video, and today I'm going to show you how to make the perfect text design on your Android device. It is super quick and easy. All you need is these two apps, Pixel Lab and PS Touch, and that is it guys. So I'm going to show you how to make the coolest text on your Android device. It can be very good for banners and thumbnails, and thumbnails and banners are the, per are the most important things that attract viewers, especially in your videos to like attract more viewers and to get more subscribers so this tip should help you out in your youtube campaign so if you guys like this kind of content make sure you guys subscribe and turn on and turn on notifications if you are new to my channel and let's get on to the video so first the uh, so the first thing you're gonna want to do is open up the app called pixel lab it is the text generator and it's really really cool so um you're going so first you start out with this just use this for now and then you're going to press the pencil right here to uh, to do which text you want so for this example I'm just gonna put text uh, you can put it in all caps or all lowercase it doesn't really matter to me and now we're going to choose a font we are, um, and also the font pack will be in the in the link in the description below so I'm going so I'm going to choose this font this is one of my this is the best font that I have I actually love this font so then now what are you gonna do is make it bigger because the bigger the better the text will be so you're just gonna make it bigger you don't want to make it too big or it's gonna or it's gonna be like too big it's gonna be like overcropped so then now we're going to choose a color and the best color I will go with is gradient so gradient don't get lost with this one gradient is super, well it's not really that important but it actually does give like your text like a little bit of magic and it's really cool so i'm going to choose a gradient to add a new gradient just press the plus sign right here and then make the two markers go across each other like in the middle right here just make it go like that so the lighter color is going to be on the top and the bot and the darker color is going to be on the bottom so we're going to make um so we're just going to use these two arrows that i'm pressing right here to switch between markers we're going to go with the gray one so i'm going to choose the color purple and I'm gonna make it like super super bright and then I'm gonna go switch between markers by using the arrows and go and making it dark purple but not too dark they're just gonna make it like a little bit darker than the original so then once you like that gradient you're just gonna press ok and as you can see the gradient is applied to the text and then you're just gonna press the check mark and now what we're gonna do is add a stroke this is optional but I always like adding a stroke I don't know why I think the stroke is more important it's like super important to the text so then you're gonna press the stroke the stroke doesn't have to be too wide you can either you can even change the color of the stroke just choose just choose the stroke color either black white or whatever you want but i choose to why i choose black mostly or the color that's darker than the text so i just choose um like dark purple and then once you're done with that you're gonna press ok and now what you're gonna do next is go press the background thingy the two squares and then you're gonna make the background transparent and then once you're done you're gonna press this little file thing on the top on the top left corner and then you're gonna press that then you're gonna press save as image and then make sure the format is PNG because it needs to be transparent in the background and then once you do that you're gonna press save the gallery and then save to your gallery now we're going to go to the app called PS touch to add a little bit more detail to the text and I'll see you guys over there right now so once you open PS touch you're going to make like uh, another project so we're going to press this gallery thing if you guys can see it, it's like right at the center I'll show an arrow to put it and then you guys can click on that and then you're going to find the file folder called pixel lab it should be right here and then you should find the text right here and then you press add and then it will automatically add to the screen so this so this next step is optional this step allows you to be a little bit more precise so just press the pencil thing 
and then press show pointer and as you can see the pointer should be shown on the screen this this tool actually helps you to be a little bit more precise with your projects and stuff so yeah this is really really cool so um what we're gonna do is kind of like we're gonna like fix the text real quick if like your font is like weird like that we're going to fix it we're gonna add the stroke back to this end because it's messed up right there so we're going to add so we're gonna add a little bit more to the text we're gonna fix it right here and bam and now you're going to press so you're gonna use the polygon selection tool for this you're gonna go use the polygon selection tool and now you're gonna go to the paint tool to do this and then you can set the brush size to whatever you want by doing this and then now you're going to eye drop the color the exact color that it is so then so then you are going to shade that in and now we're going to add the stroke you're just going to press this square thingy with the gear on it and then press deselect so now we're going to add the stroke we're going to go back to the polygon selection tool and then we're going to add the stroke right here make sure you, you guys have to do this as precise as possible because or the text will look weird so then we're going and then once it messes up you guys can just add another stroke the stroke has to be perfect it can't be it can't be messed up or disoriented and then we're going to eye drop the color of the stroke right there we're gonna eye drop the color and then bam and then we just shade that part in so now now that we got that done now we're going to add a little bit like a little bit more magic like more effects so now you're going to duplicate this layer by typing the plus sign and then do that and then duplicate layer so then now we're going to go to effects and then we're going to add lighting to it so make sure you make sure the lighting is perfect how you want it this is perfect for me so i'm going to press the check mark and once you do that you're going to add this again you're going to press the plus sign and then you're going to add an empty layer this time and then now what you're going to do is press the add sign symbol you're going to press that and then you're going to press fill and stroke so what we're going to do we're just going to leave this white space on make sure the mode is fill not stroke noise or cloud and you can make the color out however you want it doesn't really matter and then you're going to press the check and then you're going to go down to the first layer of the text and then you're going to press the square with the gear and you're going to press that and then you're going to press select pixels and then now you're going to go to the white space and then press clear make sure you guys keep this selected don't don't deselect it yet so now you're going to go to fx and then you're going to go to glow and then uh, make sure you guys change the color we got, I'm gonna change the color to like to the purple so this like adds like a little bit of cool lighting inside the text to make it you know like make it look more cooler and then make sure you make make sure you alter the blur because that the blur is mostly important too so you're gonna alter the blur make sure you guys put the text however you want it um, I think this I think this color is good so yeah you're gonna press the check mark when you're done and then now you're going to press the pencil and press extract and then now what you're gonna do is you're gonna merge the layers down by pressing these two like these two merging squares and then you're gonna press and you're gonna press the other ones right here and then you're gonna merge it down and then now what you're gonna do you can now deselect it you can deselect it now so just deselect that and then press the two squares again and then you're gonna change the blend mode right here you're gonna change the blend mode to overlay and see now the text looks a lot more cooler as you can see it is super super dope and then now you're going to merge the layers down and also this next step is completely optional but I really do like this step but you're gonna add like a little background so that you can see kind of better so I'm just gonna go add a background so I can see better I, I that's black is good so once you like you can actually see how the text really looks in the black background and it looks really cool but this step is completely optional you're going to press the plus sign duplicate layer go to the first layer and then go and select its pixels and then you're gonna go to fill and then you're gonna change the fill to white, bam. And then you're gonna deselect it. And now, what I like to do is like I like to move the white space 
you're gonna go you're gonna go to the free transform tool with the cross right there with the arrows so then I what I like to do is I move like the white text over like that that's what I like to do I like to do that and then you're gonna go to the first text and then you're gonna press effects and then you're going to use drop shadow and then you can change the angle with this little circle thingy right here and it can also change the blur and the opacity of the shadow and that's a re this is a really cool feature of the text so now what you're gonna do if you're done like this you're just gonna press the check mark and then you're gonna want to add like a little bit of effects to the white text so then what I like to add the effect is TV monitor, the TV monitor effect. It, it honestly just looks really, really cool. Look at how the text is. Look at how like look at how like the like the effect on the white space is doing. It actually looks crystal clear HD and it's really cool. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna press the check mark. And then now what you're gonna do is you're gonna merge the text down. You're gonna merge that down. And then this this next step is totally optional too. Just go to effects and then press and then choose the effects sleepy hollow. Adds like kind of like a little bit like a vinaigrette to your to your text. So yeah, that looks pretty cool. And then you're going to press um, select pixels. This next this step is completely optional too. You're gonna press add and then you're gonna press gradient. And then now you're gonna choose one of these like those little dark circles right here like one of these circles or you can choose you can choose whatever effect you want but I like the little fin and get I like this kind of effect so then you're gonna like center it like the perfect how you want and then BAM you are finished guys so then now we're going to delete this layer and then we're gonna press the trash can so yeah now the text looks super super dope and then once you're finished now you can go to press the arrow right here and then press save and then you're going to press this square with the arrow thing and then you're going to press save to gallery and then make sure and then you tap on it and then you make sure it's png and then press ok so that's it guys you're done so thank you guys for watching my video i really hope this helped you out in your thumbnail making or banner making i hope you guys really took this tip into your lives so yeah thank you guys for watching my video and i'll see you guys next time peace out Yo!